So hello, everybody. Um, we are doing our live a little bit different today. Um, I am going live on our Facebook page, uh, Foil Everything, and our YouTube channel all at once. So if you're joining in, please do me a big, big favor and um, make sure you say hello. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that I can see that. Let's see. Okay, I was hoping that I could see the comments, but I might not be able to see them on my phone. Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to look on my laptop, you guys. Okay, so that looks like where they're going to come in from. But hello. So do us a big favor in the description of the video. There is a little thing from StreamYard that gives us permission to um, use your name. And uh, I think it's just a simple question or two, but when you pop up, you're going to pop up as who you are and not just Facebook user, okay? So let's see, um, whoever said, hey, sweet lady, okay, make sure you jump up there and give uh, StreamYard permission, and that way we'll know who everybody is as you guys chat with me. Um, so welcome, a uh, little earlier than usual for my live, but um I have been just super excited to share this project with you. And I have to say that I always tell you, you all inspire me as much as I inspire you. And this is one of my customers that um, came to me with a project, told me what she was doing. And I said, okay, let's see if um, we can get this to work. Um, so I did a little shopping. Uh, over the last, I think it was over the weekend, must, must, uh, must have been, okay, and we got some baseball caps, and I'm not a huge baseball cap person, because when you guys see me in a hat, you're going to know why Jim just does not really rock a hat very much, but when I'm at the river, I don't really care, um, so I will rock a few hats at the river, and I decided that it was time to have some custom hats for all of us, um, so thank you guys for joining. This is so awesome. And hello, hello. I got to say hi. Oh, Gloria. So thank you so much for doing the shares. We so appreciate it. You know that your sharing our video is like um, word of mouth advertising for us. It's the way other people that have a chance to discover our page and find out about us. And it is better than anything else we can do. So a share is worth so much. So we always, always appreciate. Um, and speaking about that, okay, I'm going to pop over to um, my Facebook feed because I have to watch this on StreamYard to think to see all of your questions. But I'm going to pop over here and just make sure that we're, um, we are making it through every channel that we have intended and see if we're live everywhere that I want it to be. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yes, okay, Faye, that was you. Okay, remember to go give uh, StreamYard permission, Faye, um, so that we can see your um, comments. And I'm going to pop over one other place. Oops, wrong page. Okay. I always, I always feel like I can never, ever, Facebook never shows me my own page, okay? It's like, I don't know, every time I go there, I have to like actually go search for my own page instead of it just popping up. Strange. Facebook has been really, really weird lately, okay? Um, so if you feel like Facebook has been slightly strange, just think it's been really super strange because if you haven't seen it yet, some pages have actually changed formats already and it's been a slow rollout, okay? Normally we'll see a, a little bit of activity and then it just kind of all rolls out, but this one's been really slow. I just think there's a lot of stuff going on in the background that we're not seeing and we're not privy to, but just realize that Facebook is doing major glitching lately, okay? Um, but tonight, oh, it's actually this afternoon for me. It's not night for me, okay? But we are, we are early, okay? So I got to come back here and say hello. I got Gloria here, Jeanette, Charlene, uh, Christine, thank you. We appreciate you being on here, Jeanette, Nora. Thank you guys and appreciate all the shares. So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to walk you through this project and um, I know 
you guys are either going to be grabbing your baseball caps that you already have at home or you're going to be online like I was and doing some shopping. And I've been doing a lot of shopping, okay? It just seems like no matter what's going on, um, I feel like I keep finding more projects to work on, okay? Uh, hello, Deborah. Hello, Nina. Hi, Carol. Thank you guys all for hanging out with us. This is awesome. Okay. Now, I'm going to start at the very beginning because I know there's probably some of you that could be... Um, newer to our page and excuse my frantic look okay now i was just looking for a jar so that i could show you what i was going to start with okay um we are going to be using uh, the artsyville embellishments foil adhesive this is our foil adhesive that is truly meant for a hard surface it's meant for wood um that is wood uh paint to go over a painted surface we have made it work on terracotta flower pots glass i'm just looking around pretty much uh, we've even done it on cowboy boots and leather, okay? It works on that as well. But we've always said it doesn't really design for um, fabric. And my hat's fabric. So this was a trial and error process to see if this would work. But we think the reason why it's working is the bill happens to have something hard in here. So even though it's going to soak in, it's soaking into something that has... Um, a piece of hard surface underneath it okay so I don't know it's like a cardboard or what kind of material they use to create the bill of the, the baseball cap but uh, it's allowing the process so you want to use my regular okay I'm gonna say it again you want to use the regular Artsyville embellishments foil adhesive and um, I'm gonna tell you guys this is a great little trick you see I've got something on my jar okay and it's called press and seal so whenever I am um, putting this away, I just cut me a little piece of press and seal and I put it over the top of the jar before I screw my lid back on because if um, you are one of our customers, I bet you your jars, your lids have gotten stuck. Okay, so this is a great way to make sure that your lid never gets stuck again. Now, I'm not going to be using that one because that really is my travel jar when I go to the river basically, okay? Um, let's find, let's find a brush. Okay, this one looks halfway decent. And the main reason that I never have to use that little jar is because if y'all know me at all, okay, and I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of you that know me pretty well here. We have, we have a big bucket, okay, a huge bucket of foil adhesive. Look at all that foil adhesive. So we're always working out of a gallon back here. It takes me a while to get through it, but I do. And then I also work off what I call a sticky plate. Um, anytime you're working with our foils, we always recommend that you take the product out of your container. No matter if you've got the little four ounce jar, the 10 ounce, you're working out of a quart, a gallon, it's always best to take it out of here and put it on a surface when you're gonna be working with it. Because you don't wanna contaminate the whole jar and you really don't wanna leave it open for any extended length of time, okay? Um, because you want to keep it, you want to keep the properties of it just as they are. Um, let's see, I gotta come back here and look. Oh, Gloria, you're going to believe me. I'm telling you, there's a whole lot of you that are going to be shopping tonight. Um, howdy, Wendy. It's great to see you on here, and all of you. I want to say big, big shout out and thank you for all of the sharing. We so appreciate it. Okay. Um, oh, I was talking about that a second ago. I have a note here. Oh, I think it might have been the last time we were live. I know I didn't go live. It might have been like Thursday, Friday. I don't remember. It's been a few days. It was definitely last week. I was going to come in here live um, last night, and I happened to be in my painting group where I teach every month. I teach different finishes. And um, if you can see behind me, oops, go this way. If you can see behind me, I'm working on a project that's gonna be for a special workshop for June. So you guys will all be able to come join me for a really, really small price, okay? And check out our workshops. Um, but I was in my group teaching last night and um, during the, the class, um, Dan came in needing something. He comes in and he's just like looking around. I'm like, okay, honey, what do you need? Okay. I'm like, I'm telling my class, I'm so sorry, guys. I need to interrupt for a second. Dan needs something. Uh, but we had an electrician at the house. And it was just like, after I finished teaching, I just knew I had to get home and deal with the situation. Um, 
you know when you're doing a remodel there's always a hiccup or two i'm just really kind of getting tired of the hiccups but hopefully by the end of the day uh, most of our electrical that we need to get done will be done other than some fixtures are not going to be hung yet because I haven't shopped for those. Instead of shopping for light fixtures for my house, I was shopping for baseball caps. Okay, what's a girl to say? I, I rather, I was having more fun shopping for this than I was looking at light fixtures. Oh, well. Um, but back to the point. The last live. Okay, I know. I'm, I'm going full circle, guys. Okay, I promise I'm coming back. Um, the last live that we had. I always encourage you guys that if we can get over 25 shares on a live, on a, our Facebook live, we always will do um, a, a fun little giveaway. I never know what it's going to be. I could just be inspired by what we did that night, okay, or what we made. Um, but our last live, we had a winner, and her name is Teresa Griffin. And I'm hoping Teresa is here. I'm not positive, but um, hopefully... Hopefully she is going to make it and we will definitely give her a big shout out. Um, and we're super, super excited about it. So um, if you guys want to do it again tonight, maybe we can get enough shares to do another giveaway. We love doing this. Okay. We always have uh, leftover foils or just stuff from lives that I've been using. And we want to get it into your hands because I know that getting it into more creative hands, we're just going to see more incredible projects. Okay. I have to look right here. It says, um, <laughs> okay. And I'm not sure who this is. Um, you have to go up and give StreamYard permission so we can see your name. Um, the link is right at the top of the description of the video, okay? But it says somebody is using press and seal on a paint tray and working on painting 29 cabinet doors. So obviously some of my pro tips and tricks are pretty damn fabulous because I don't even work out of a regular paint tray anymore, not unless I'm on a ladder. Now, if I'm on a ladder, I like working out of a traditional paint tray because I can hook it to my ladder. But anywhere else, I am all over. Okay, let's let's just get this so we can give you guys a visual. I got goodies sitting on my tray. Let's put my goodies over here. Um, but a serving tray. It's already lined with press and seal and ready to go. But this is wonderful. I'll tell you for a lot of reasons. I hate to clean. Okay. The more we have to put things down our drain and clean anything, it's not good for our environment. So whatever I do on this press and seal, I just let it dry overnight or pull it off and let it sit somewhere and dry. And you can just throw it away. So much more earth friendly. Okay. And I don't have to wash anything. That's the best part. <laughs> I'm telling you, this girl does not. I have washed so much stuff paint related over my life. I'm done. Um, let's see here. Um, Yes, press and seal is awesome. Also, do not over tighten the lid. It does make it a little harder to open. Okay. Yeah, don't don't tighten it too, too much, but it definitely is a game changer when you're trying to open your jars. I not only do that for my foil adhesive, I do it for almost all my paint jars because I don't care how clean and um, neat we try to be. It just, it happens, okay? That gets all over the, the jar and then your lid doesn't want to fit. Um, uh, let's see. Yes. Congratulations to Teresa. Oh, Pam. Yes. Pam did some excellent shoes and they came out as well. Now yours, Pam, you'll have to tell me, were they leather or were they canvas? I think they were canvas and she was trying to do them with one of our foil adhesives that's meant more for fabric. And I think she had to put two layers on to get really good coverage because she forgot that that was a heat activated uh, foil adhesive that you're supposed to iron them on. But it looks like they worked, okay? Canvas, yes, they were canvas. Uh, so I did splurge and I bought myself a pair of canvas shoes as well. They came with the hats. Did they come with the hats? No, they came in a different bag, I think. So I just bought some, Ooh, these are kind of cool. This is not like a regular like canvas. These are like almost just a real soft, real dense kind of uh, material. I'm not sure what they are, okay? But they're just cheap shoes. I think they were like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. I figured 15 bucks, I can play. But I have a couple ideas. So um, I'm not really sure because I really wanted to paint them first. 
And then I knew if I painted them, I shouldn't have any problem with my foil transfer. But now filling the fabric of these, um, they almost feel like they're, um, they have like a little bit of a neoprene to them. They're soft, a little bit squishy, pretty cool. Uh, for 15 bucks, hey, can't beat it, okay? You know, I figured I can't lose too much. I can't screw them up too bad. But I am really been wanting some cute shoes. Um, and we're going to check those out. That'll be another live on another day. Okay, but for now, let's just get busy over here. We have we have my, um, my baseball cap. Let's clean it off, okay? And we've got our foil adhesive, okay? So I put my foil adhesive right on my sticky plate. Um, this little plate piece right here is all fresh. Um, that's actually starting to dry. There was another little piece over here that looked whiter, but that's dry. It's been there for hours. I used it earlier today, okay? And I'm taking it straight out of the jar, and I'm going to put it straight onto the hat. I'm not watering this down at all. You want this full strength, okay? And we are going to put this on, and I'm putting it on the bill of the hat only, okay? That's just where I want it. And I know I should be successful, okay? Let's just say that, oh, well, I think it's Lori. I'll have to look up her name. Lori's the one that inspired me. Um, she's hoping to become one of our retailers someday. So we're super excited about that as well. But look how I'm loading this up, okay? Full strength out of the jar. So it's going to be thick. And we want to get it on here uh, generously, okay? We're not going to be skimping because we know that some of it's gonna soak right in. And this is so cool because I want you guys to see how white our foil adhesive looks when we first put it on. It has that milky white look out of the jug. It looks white when you're applying it to your surface. And the darker your surface, the more white it will look. If your surface happens to be white or very light colored, you might not see how, uh, how white the material is, okay? Uh, I still believe in good application. So come back and smooth out all your brush strokes. Don't leave them going all over the place. And I'm going to get the full bill on here done. And then I'm going to go and read some questions as soon as I'm done. I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to get really the adhesive anywhere else. I'm trying to just keep it on the bill. And... Uh, load it on here. So don't skimp, okay? Don't be frugal with your foil adhesive if you're going to do this project. Be generous and make sure, again, you're coming back and smoothing out your brush strokes. And I'm just going to make sure. I'm even going to grab a little bit more. It's very seldom that I never pull out enough, but I feel like I want to come back to where I started and get a little bit more on there. Because you'll start to see that as it dries down and also um, soaks into the fabric a little bit, it's going to go light pretty fast, okay? Um, so like I said, I want you guys to be generous with this application, make sure you got plenty on here because I want you to be successful. And believe me, this is all brand new and trying. Um, so we might discover that we don't have to be as generous, but for this right here, these experiments, we are loading it on, okay? We're not going to skimp at all. <laughs> Okay, let's put our sticky plate away. Let's put our brush. Okay, I always, whenever I'm putting my brushes away, I have a brush bin. Okay, it's full of water. It actually was clean. Um, but this is where I always set my brushes so I'm not just letting them sit out. And I know you can't always see all parts of my table, especially with this angle. Okay. Um, yes, okay. So Pam had done the, the duo gel. Um, but it didn't work extremely well. So I put the gel on again. It got tacky and put the foil on. No heat. It worked. Okay. Yeah, the Duo Gel um, actually had changed formulas. This is one of the, is it five? Five? We have four or five different adhesives. 
well, four different ones for fabric, okay? And the du the gel used to just be called gel, but now it's called Duo Gel. And I was reading back up again on it because I'd gotten an email from the company. And um, it can work both ways. It's supposed to be able to work with a heat transfer as your iron, and it's also supposed to be able to work without it. Um, so I'm still experimenting um, on using it without, but I believe you got to tackle it a little bit sooner. Um, where that you're getting it where it's in a tacky state, okay? It has to dry for at least about an hour. And I think once you're past that hour, you should be able to go ahead and transfer. Um, yeah, every last one of our foil adhesives, if you go to our website, we have full instructions on each one of them. So if you click on the spray, uh, which is a fabric spray adhesive, there is um, a little button that'll say instructions. You can download them, you can read them, you can photo, I mean, you can print them out. I mean, everybody, I really wanted to have detailed instructions because each one has different ways that it works on dry time and how you use it. Um, oh, we're talking about final coat. Okay, so final coat, um, let's see, Desiree must have posted something in here about using final coat. Uh, the reason like I like to use our final coat on anything that is like the shoes. So if you're doing canvas shoes, leather shoes, um, if you do this baseball cap, I'm going to grab my other hat that I did. Uh, hasn't made it back to the river, but it's going back down this weekend. Okay. Cause it's been here um, because it had to get final coat on it. Uh, but this also has final coat on it because what's going to happen is when you're done transferring your foils, no matter how wonderful of a transfer you did receive, there's probably going to be a little bit of stickiness left um, on shoes, on um, leather, um, on the baseball caps, on this hat. There was a lot of sticky left that I put final coat over it so that it sealed that. And the final coat stays flexible. It will not get hard and stiff like a lot of other top coats. Most top coats are meant to dry to a really, really super hard finish, okay, which they do. And Final Coat will also dry to a nice, good, hard finish on even a hard surface. But when we're only using two or three coats on something flexible like this, it stays flexible, so it's not going to get hard and stiff on you. But yes, we're going to be rocking this baby this weekend. We're headed back to the river, finally. We got birthday weekend for Danny this weekend. Um, so definitely grab yourself some of the final coat. You're going to find that this is wonderful to work with. It is a wipe on varnish and it is super, super easy. Okay. And maybe we'll get to that part even on this whole video. Um, let's see if there's anything I've missed here. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. I want to read Desiree. This must have been uh, she says she has some canvas shoes she wants to try. Thought of add the final coat first and then use. Oh, so you're thinking of sealing them first. Okay, that was a great idea. I just don't like going on white very often. Um, so I thought I would paint my shoes a color and then I will go ahead and do my foil adhesive. I'm going to use the regular foil adhesive and then do the foil. And then definitely have to final coat them. But that's a great idea to start that way. Sometimes we can um, bounce ideas off of each other. Um, and Desiree, if you go your way, I want you to come back and report on how it worked because I'm going to go the other way and paint first. And let's see. We'll have to compare uh, which came out better. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay. So Pamela is saying that when she used the Duo that she reapplied and it got tacky in five minutes. So you must have put it on pretty thin. I know that that stuff stays white and it goes clear as well when it starts to dry. Um, and normally it's not ready for a transfer until it's dry. So you must have put it on pretty thin. You'll have to keep, keep up with me. Hello, David. How are you? Um, awesome. Okay. I love it. You know, we we're all experimenting. We're all having some fun. So this is awesome. Okay. Remember, we also are doing a possible giveaway today. So make sure to hit your share button and share this video. And I'm going to check and see where we are on our shares. Okay, so let me let me update my screen right here. Um, because I just poked in on it and it said we only had one share. And I can't believe we only have one share. Oh my gosh. Facebook. Facebook's not even letting me get back to my own page. 
they are such a hoot lately. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being yeah, it's a little sarcastic. That yep, yeah, Facebook is really, really fun right now. Okay, we only got five shares. So that means we got 20 more to go to even have a chance at a giveaway tonight. Okay. And remember, Teresa won. Teresa is hers is actually already packed. Okay, I'm so on it on this time. Um, hers is already packed and on her way to her. And Teresa um, got, Teresa is going to receive all the foils that I did on this particular uh, sign. Okay, that came out freaking amazing. If you haven't watched this video yet, you've got to go back and see this one as well. Plus, I put a few more goodies in there. So she got a really nice little collection of some fabulous foils to um, create with. Uh, so I know she is going to be extremely excited when she opens her package. Okay, I wanted you guys to see this because it's starting to dry down, which means we're at a couple of levels here. Now, I'm going to suggest if you try this, do me a big, big favor and give yourself a 90 to a two, at least an hour and a half to two hour window mark on allowing your foil adhesive to dry. Don't go hit this too fast. Don't, don't rush it. Don't think it within 30 minutes, even if it starts to clear out and looks completely clear somewhere. Let it dry. Let it tack up. Let it get to a really good, firm, hard tack because I want you to be successful. Um, my baseball caps were, I don't know, maybe around eight bucks a piece. Maybe somewhere around there. I bought a few. I got a couple different colors. <laughs> I had I had a little too much fun, okay? But look at what I'm going to do tonight, okay? I thought I had to have a pink one, or I, I got a feeling I got two girlfriends that are going to rip the sucker off my head and steal it this weekend, but we'll see. But I bought pink, and I bought some teal one, too. Um, so let's, I'm going to open this one. Yeah, I was thinking that these are more our colors, <laughs> but I'm also the girl that lives her animal print, and um, I thought, you know, I could put animal print on here. Uh, I was looking. Okay, there it is. I was hunting for the spoil earlier and I couldn't find it. But don't you think that is going to be fabulous on there? Oh, my gosh. This one's not prepped at all. I just took that one all out of the bag. But look at that. Oh, my God. The color. The color is going to be amazing. Okay. And for those of you that love to bling things out, I'm sure you guys can take this hat about 10 times further and just have a great time with it. I thought about if I had, I think I might have some like flat back Swarovski um, crystals still. And I thought about maybe gluing some of those on here as well and doing something crazy. I think, I think I might have to, we might have to put like uh, Parker, they, there's these hats that uh, a couple of our friends have that are, say, Parker Mafia hats, okay? So we might even have to have Parker, Parker Mafia uh, create it for those. I don't know. We're going to have to do something. Okay, back to this project. Okay, so we've got a pink hat that we're working on. And yes, I did pick the pink leopard foil. Okay, I just, I had to. I, I just, I could not forgive myself for not picking this one. Um, okay, let me go back to all of our comments here. Um, oh, Pamela. Okay, so I love it. Um, okay, so we got a Facebook. Um, okay, you have to, if you guys want to know, let me know your name. If you go to the top of the comments and give, uh, click on that little link and give StreamYard permission to use your name. That way we know who you are. Otherwise, you're just a Facebook user. And that just doesn't look great. Okay, we, we want to know who our community is. Um, I found them on Amazon, okay? I will try to post a link later. I just I just went shopping. Okay, and they're pretty cool. I liked how they have, um, they're all adjustable, but it's kind of nice that they just have a strap that you can pull and a big area that we can throw our ponies back through there or just throw all your hair. And um, they looked like they were not bad, okay? Like I said, they just kind of clip. And you can make them adjustable because I've got really, it says one, one size fits all. But even though it doesn't maybe look like it, I have a small head. Um, and that's why I've never been one that's really big on baseball caps because truly to find a baseball cap that fits my head really well, it's basically a child's hat. Uh, but, you know, it's river time. Who cares? <laughs> okay, let's cut our foil. And I will make sure to find my link for the hats. And I'm sure you guys will find tons of them as well. And let's move on. I want to pull up 
Pamela's comment here because Pamela is saying that um, it wasn't too thin. The duo is thick. Yeah, it is pretty thick material uh, or product. Um, if you let it go longer than five minutes, it starts to get untacky. Okay, that could be the new formula then. Okay, it used to take at least, okay, we need to go update our instructions then. Look, thank you so much for pointing that out because we haven't played with it too much since they reformulated it and I want to make sure we uh, update our instructions. Okay, so you're saying within about five minutes, it's clearing, okay, and becoming untacky. So when it comes untacky, I think that's when you're going to be able to iron it on. And while it's still tacky is when you want to do uh, just a regular transfer um, without heat, okay? That's probably what we got going, okay? Um, Ruth, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, okay, so Pam's also going, where'd you get those hats? <laughs> um, let's see, you got something at five below. Oh, you got your shoes. Is that what it was, shoes? Um, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Oh, shoes. There we go. Correction. Okay. Uh, let's see. Somebody says, Jennifer, we can't see a share button. Would tagging people work? Huh? Now, are you, where are you watching? Um, okay. So whoever I have up here, where are you watching from? Because if you're watching from the foil everything group, there probably is not a share button. You want to go over to my regular Facebook page. That's Artistic Painting Studio on Facebook and share from there. Um, oh, okay. But are you in the foil everything or Facebook on PC? Okay. There should be because even, okay, let me go out and make sure. I'll see if I can share it. Okay. Let's open my video. Oh, you're just so, so crazy right now. Okay. Let's open the video. Let's go full screen. And um, Facebook's taking a while to load over here. Okay. Um, I got a share button. Yeah, no problem at all. I just shared it. I don't know where the heck I shared it to, but I just shared the video. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So you should be able to share it. And then also you have to come back here in the comments and tell me you did. Because otherwise, if we get enough shares, we're going to have to know who did it, who shared it. Because otherwise, we're not going to know whose name stick in the hat. So don't forget that. Hit your share button if you can find it. And then go over into the comments and let me know that you did share. Um, and if by chance your name's not posting up, do me a favor and um, give StreamYard um, permission to um, use your name, okay? Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Hello, Maddie. Thanks for joining. Okay. I know I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to just be leaving you guys hanging here. Okay. But let's, let's go for this. Okay. Let's cross our fingers and pray it came out just as fabulous as Lori's did. Okay. And I'm just going to overlap this. And I think I'm going to get a little snip right here so that it can go either way. It's kind of my idea. Oops. I didn't get it high enough, okay? I'm going to have to do a little bit of a fill in. But we're going to go ahead and grab one of our scrub brushes. And we're going to give it a good scrub. And let's get, I want to get my hand underneath the bill. So that I give it a little bit of resistance. And I didn't pull it up high enough, so I missed that little corner. So I'm going to have to go and repair. So that means I'm just going to snip a little piece and I put it way up here in the corner. And we'll give it a little bit of a scrub right there and see how well, <laughs> how well that transferred, okay? And then in this area where we're up high, you might have to kind of like get your fingernail up underneath there and make sure that you got a good transfer um and then we're going to finish out this side but i'm going to tell you this is going to be amazing and i am so thrilled because we're able to stay in our regular foil adhesive and make this work okay again i didn't get up high enough so what i would do for the next one is I would bring this up higher and still do my little slip down the middle so that it comes over on both sides and covers. 
Oh, somebody said David's over there sharing eight times. <laughs> you guys are, are a lot of fun. Thank you for participating. It's always great. Now, I know Facebook is only going to probably count the one share to your own page, okay? But just realize when you do that, it'll be easy for you to go back and find the video if you're looking for it in the future. Um, all your friends and family will see the crazy lady that you watch, okay? And um, maybe a few more people will find us as well. <laughs> okay, the big reveal, the big reveal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, okay. So there's a couple of places that it didn't transfer perfect, okay? <laughs> perfect. Not that we ever anticipate perfection but I'm going to give it a little bit more of a scrub scrub and just see if I can get a little bit more off because we got a texture because the fabric has a texture to it okay so we're just going to give it a little bit more of a push and just try to get maybe even if I got one more percent okay we'll be rocking oh Oh my, is that not to absolutely die for you guys? How awesome is this? Okay. Now, yes, I'll be, I'll be rocking this, this weekend. Okay. That is going to be so cool. We're going to have to definitely, okay. Now I did get up a little bit too far. Okay. So maybe even put a piece of tape across the hat when you go and put your foil adhesive on, so that way you don't end up with anything on here. Now, I think what I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna go look for my flat backs, and I think I might go ahead and glue on a whole row across the front of here of my Swarovski crystal flat backs and just bling this sucker out, and then I need to have somebody do um, Parker Mafia for me. And um, I know these hats are gonna be like, they're gonna be stealing these hats. These girls are gonna go absolutely crazy. I have two girlfriends that I know want this right now, and they don't even know it. <laughs> uh, oh, Faye, that's awesome. Yeah, you know, even any share you guys can give, even if you share it with a girlfriend that you know would absolutely just fall in love with what we're doing, um, I think it's a great idea. Any place that you can share will take your share, okay? And... Um, I am just going to go ahead and refresh my page again and see what we're up to. Because uh, I know there has to be a few more shares. But I can't wait to see what all of you do, okay? My idea for this one um, is possibly going to be the Jaguar foil, okay? Look how gorgeous that is. I just don't think we use it enough. I've seen a ton of people doing this on furniture. And I want to tell you, this one rocks unbelievably on furniture and with red to die for, okay? Um, so I was kind of thinking either the Jaguar or I was going to go with um, our other leopard bronze and possibly even do my black and white collection of like the cheetah with the silver background. But I bought a few, okay? So I think I've got at least three black hats and then I have my teal okay to finish up as well as um, I think that's it I think that's all I did color wise okay now that I know that these are so wonderful I'm probably gonna go shopping again so I'll go find my link and I will make sure that I share it on here um, so that a few of you also can go wipe out this poor store they're gonna want to know what on earth happened okay Okay, let me get back over to, oh, let me let, check our shares right now. Oh, we're up to 21, guys. I know you can do it. Okay, I know you can do it. Okay, so our winner tonight, okay, um, make sure you guys come back and tell me you shared because if I don't know you shared, um, we're not going to know to put your name in the hat. Okay, and I don't want to miss out on anybody. Um, so make sure you come back here and tell me in the comments that you did share. And then... Um, Oh, I lost my train of thought. Damn it. I hate menopause. Um, I had something I was going to tell you. Okay, but either way, the winner, because I know we're going to get 25 shares, is going to get some pink, some of our incredible blue, and the bronze leopard foils. So that is going to be our gift from tonight's live. So make sure you share, 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 because somebody does not want to miss out on this. Okay. 
um that'll be a cool super super cool prize okay and i know you guys can do it because we are almost there almost there okay i gotta catch up on comments here because i was when i'm over on facebook trying to see how many shares um i can't see the comments from because everything's coming through Streamyard. okay michelle thank you so much um oh i love all the sprinkling <laughs> Okay, I don't know who this is, but it says the pink hat has her hairdresser written all over it. Well, it sounds like you need that link. You need some pink foil and you need to make a gift, okay? Um, oh, I love it. Thank you, Diana. I appreciate the shares. We are so excited to have all of you join us here and hang out. Um, let's see. <laughs> Pam said, how could I not share? <laughs> Oh, Faye says you haven't gotten your foils. Oh, Michelle, Michelle must have just chimed in. Okay, so hold on. I'll be right with you, Michelle. Um, Faye, so I don't forget, do me a favor and email support at artisticpaintingstudio.com. And I will make sure the team checks on that. Okay, we'll, we'll do... Um, we'll, tra we'll tr trace your package, okay? Because they did go out... Uh, the 6th and 7th. I think they all made it out. Some trickled on the 5th, 6th, and 7th. They all made it out. So we want to definitely go and um, trace that for you. I also want to mention, if there's new people on here and um, you are interested and totally hooked and dying to get your hands on some foils, we have something called our Foil Club. You'll see it behind me. Okay, I keep moving the wrong way. Foil Club, join now, okay? So... If you want to know about Foil Club, type foil. <clears throat> type the word club into the comments. Okay. Ooh. Um, and automatically Messenger will send you a link that you can click on. It's going to tell you all about the club. But basically, you get a roll of foil. Okay. It comes on one core and it's a collection of different foils every month. So the last couple of months, I think we've done a collection of five different foils and it's been three feet each. And this month is the same coming up for June. We have a gorgeous collection. Actually, this foil right here underneath. Okay, let's see if I can un let me undress that a little bit so you can see it. Everybody is absolutely dying about this new foil here, okay? It's absolutely gorgeous. But the only way that you're going to be able to get this one right now is through Foil Club. Um, so if you're thinking about getting some foils, the Foil Club is a tremendous way to start um, because you automatically get a Happy Mail every month and it is 40% off of suggested retail price. Um, and that's including your shipping costs. So it's an awesome deal. And um, you definitely want to come and join us. Okay, I'm going to move on. Michelle. Michelle said, what's the tackiness? Okay, so you missed the very beginning. And our tackiness is our foil adhesive. So we used our Artsyville Embellishments foil adhesive. And this is the magic stuff that will create a tacky enough surface to be able to do this. Now, I want you to know, Michelle, normally... We don't try to use this particular product on something fabric, but we have discovered because the bills have a hard surface underneath that the product can only soak in so far. And uh, we're encouraging everybody to wait like at least 90 minutes to two hours, okay, before trying to transfer. Make sure it's dried to a really super good sticky tack. It'll be a firm sticky tack, but it'll be um, definitely there. So I put it on this hat when we first start it. And you can see areas of my hat are still white looking, milky white. Okay, they're far from being dry. This has only been on here for maybe about 35 minutes, 40 minutes max. And you can tell I put a, I put a lot on. Okay, I loaded it on. Like I said, I want you guys to be generous with your application for this particular project. Um, and then also give it really super good dry time because we do not want to, um, we don't want to blow this project, okay? Uh, and we're going to have to start, okay, I'm going to give you guys about a week or so. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you at least a week, at least a week. And then we're going to start uh, a post and foil everything group. And I want to let you guys start posting all your hats that you're rocking, okay? Um, and I know there's another member that tried it. And whatever she tried, it only had a partial release. It didn't release completely, but she had like a graffiti look. So 
what it didn't do came out to be a marvelous look and she absolutely loved it and she went with it. But um, you never know um, what, you, you know, you, you just can get all kinds of different looks. So you could paint on these. I, I'm just, I, I'm just going to wait and see how many great different things we get here. Okay. Um, Oh, awesome. Gina's new on here. Kim Lombardi shared with her. Thank you so much. Um, yes, we have plenty of different adhesives as Desiree has um, posted. Make sure you're getting the right adhesive for your project, okay? I always like to try to remind everybody that our regular foil adhesive under our brand name of Artsyville Embellishments is meant for a hard surface. It's really not meant for fabric. And normally we're not successful. We just happen to be with the bill of a baseball cap. And that is for a couple of reasons. We're using it straight out of the jar. We're not watering it down. We are giving it a generous application. We're allowing extended dry time, so give it the two hours. Um, and then once you're done, okay, once you're done, you want to protect it. Now, it possibly, okay, so it possibly would be okay as it is, but I want to make sure I'm protecting this super well. So I'm going to use my final coat, and I'm going to show you guys how to use this. Okay, this is our top coat that we suggest putting on anything that is flexible that needs a little protection um, as I indicated earlier um, I did my cowboy hat and I also put the final coat on my cowboy hat because you know, I did my cowboy hat at the river um, when we were there and silly girl I took it down to the river when I was done and I put it on and then I'd taken it off or something and it got kicked or somebody hit it accidentally and it ended up in the sand and I had sand stuck all to this hat, okay? Because it was still sticky, okay? It was, you know, such an open weave here that um, this, it was just sticky. So look at that. I did front and back. I did the top of it. So yes, I have a killer uh, river hat. Um, I got to start wearing hats because I got to get my sunglasses off when I'm down at the river um, because last time I had cat eyes from wearing my sunglasses. So I got to put a hat on and protect my face. Okay, so back to back to our final coat, our final stage here, okay? Um, now, I want to just indicate one thing. Now, I did foil my apron, okay? This is our old logo, and I did this with a technique that I was able to transfer my foils to fabric. Now, because this is flexible fabric, okay, and the way that I did it, there's nothing else I have to do. And it will go through a washer. We say zero dryer. But because we're working on a harder surface here and we worked with my foil adhesive, okay, my sticky, sticky, sticky stuff, this still has a little tack to it. So all I use are like a microfiber sponge applicator. And I take the bottle of Final Coat and I just tip it over, okay? And it just a little bit pours into the sponge. You don't have to like pour it into the sponge. I never put this, take the sponge away from the bottle and, and like actually pour it. I just let it drizzle in because you don't need much. And then all you have to do is wipe it on. Okay. And I think I might even get a little bit more generous with this because normally I don't brush it on, but I think I want to possibly brush it on. Oh, Ruth wants to know where my cowboy hat came to it from. My cowboy hat has been around for a long time. I'm not sure how long it's been hanging around. And um, it was a cheap cowboy hat, okay? <laughs> so just find yourself a cheap cowboy hat and you will definitely be able to do that. Okay, let's get a plate. We need a little plate here, okay? So final coat is supposed to go on super, super thin, but I feel like I need to get it on a little bit thicker. Okay, so I'm trying to find a clean plate here in my stack. And I'm going to pour just a tiny bit because this stuff goes so far, okay? So when you're brushing it on, do me a favor and try to keep it on super thin. Now, I did this with the roller skates as well. So if you have seen the roller skates that I did for my stepdaughter, Amber, I um, brushed on final coat on her skates as well. So she has been out rocking those babies, which is so cool. Um, she's been having so much fun. And I think we've got a few girlfriends that are all lined up wanting to have their skates done. Okay. 
So just try to keep it on really thin because it's meant to go on super, super thin. But that's done, okay? Just because um, it is a super thin application, I'll probably let this dry maybe 20 minutes, okay? Because it's on a little bit thicker than if we rub it on with our applicator pad. Um, I wanna let it dry a little bit longer and then I'm probably gonna put a second coat on just to make sure that I am completely sealed, okay? And I will be able to protect. Now, I think I gotta go digging and I'm gonna go find my Swarovski crystals and see if I got any glue around here still so I can finish blinging out my hat. <laughs> uh, I wanna thank you all for hanging out with me this afternoon. Um, it was kind of a surprise, but I'm going to be in a private group at 4.30 this afternoon and I don't know how long I was gonna be there. So I thought it was best I come early and that way I can actually get home at a decent hour tonight. Hmm. Imagine that, I'll have dinner at six instead of seven or eight. <laughs> Okay, everybody, if you have any other questions, if I've missed anything, I promise I'll get back on my laptop. I will answer your questions personally. And uh, if you need anything, just holler. We're always here for you. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks.